What's going on YouTube? It's been a very long time. I have not done a boxing video in a while, but I am here to talk about Wilder versus Fury. How do I see this match going? Who do I think is going to win? You know, after Fury's last match, I said I wasn't sure about him. I thought he might be too timid to fight Wilder. But I don't. I think overall, I think even a 20% Tyson Fury is better than 100% Deontay Wilder. And for that reason, Wilder about to get his work. He, he about to get a type of beating he's never had before. He's never experienced before. A um, couple of things that I was thinking about when making this video. If Wilder ever does get Fury into trouble... Wilder's not going to be able to finish him like he's finished the other guys that he has fought. Wilder has never fought a guy as big as Fury, as tall as Fury. And because of that, it's the same problem that Klitschkoff had against Fury. When you get two guys who are as extremely tall, they tend to tie up a lot. They come together a lot because they're so long that just them throwing comes together. And that will play a huge advantage to Tyson Fury unless Wilder does some type of surprise. And he comes at least 235, 240-ish on the scales. He's going to be too outsized. Um, you know, punching power isn't always 100% on size. And I'm not going off of the punching power. What you got to think about is Deontay Wilder is extremely small for a heavyweight. And... Even worse, he's extremely small for a guy of his height, 6'7". It, it, 215 to 220 at the biggest, and he's been as low as 212. That is a bean pole. That, that is not good when you are in a boxing match and you've got a guy of experience in the caliber of Tyson Fury who knows that he can just wrap up and lean on you and put all of his body weight on you. And weigh you down. So what that does is it saps your energy, it saps your power, it saps your strength. So you're not going to be as effective with landing those bombs because your body's going to be tired out from having to hold his big ass up the whole time. Now, I don't like a lot of tying up. I've never liked it. That's one thing that I hate about Lennox Lewis, and I hated about Klitschko after Emmanuel Stewart got a hold of him. Jab, jab, grab, jab, jab, grab, jab, jab, grab, jab, jab, grab. That should be illegal. It is illegal, in fact. You're not supposed to be able to excessively tie up. It's against the rules, but it's never enforced. So for the sake of Deontay Wilder, if Fury starts to weigh him down and to tie up a lot, I hope there is a good enough referee to deduct points on Fury if he does that route. If his whole route is just to be an anchor, and weigh him down and, and tire him out because he's so small. So I really hope that, you know, a, a good enough referee will stop that if it happens. Like I said, if Wilder catches Fury, because Fury has been down. We know Fury can get dropped. We know he can. But the thing is, is Wilder skilled enough to do it? I don't think he is. Is he fast enough to catch him? I believe he is. I believe Deontay Wilder might be one of the fastest punchers that Fury is going to be in the ring with. And because of that, it does give Wilder the opportunity to catch, you know, with a clean bow, hit you. But the problem is Wilder's footwork is so bad that against a guy who, who just slips and moves, He's not going to be able to, even if he catches Fury, he's not going to be able to catch him cleanly. So because of that, I don't see Deontay being able to knock Fury out. The only way Wilder will win is if he hits Fury so hard that he, he pretty much shell shocks Fury. Fury's just terrified of the power and he goes into flight mode the whole time. And, and Wilder wins by Tyson Fury being inactive. And just running the whole time. But how I see it is, Fury is going to be in and out. He's going to use angles. And when he has to, he will tie up and he will weigh Deontay Wilder down. 
I really believe there's a strong, like, a really big, if Tyson Fury comes into this fight 40% of what he used to be, he will knock Wilder out. Wilder will be hit so much and not be able to land punches that he is going to get frustrated and go into his windmill style without hurting this time. And Fury is good enough to where he is going to catch Wilder and he's fast enough to catch him. And Wilder has never really, he's been dropped. Wilder has been dropped in his professional career and his amateur career, but most of the guys he fights fight timid. They fight scared. And Wilder gets wild when he hurts them. He's like a shark smelling blood. He just comes in and just wells away. Like I can't even throw real punches because it's just it's just like this. It, it reminds you of the little kid that just does like this, that doesn't know how to fight. He <laughs> just be winging. But it works. And I can't hate on the man for fighting. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it ain't break, broke, don't fix it. And his style has worked for him. Against lower tier quality. I give him really one true legitimate win. And that was against an old ass Ortiz. So, you know, take that for what it is. I, I'm not taking credit away, but come on, let's be honest. Ortiz is old as shit. And nine times out of ten, he's lying about his age, and he's really older than what he says he is. So, with that being said, you know, that's his greatest victory. And I really, to be honest, I love Tyson Fury. I love Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury, when he was actively boxing, was my favorite heavyweight personality. Love how he gave no fucks about what he said. He just off the wall, crazy, this dumb shit, like coming in, dressing like Batman to a press conference. Like, who does some dumb stuff like that? But I liked him for that. But at the end of the day, even though I don't like the way Wilder fights, I would love to see Wilder win. I would love to see the American go on to beat Fury and beat Anthony Joshua, even though I know Anthony Joshua would knock Wilder out within the first five rounds. Wilder would be sleeping. Be sleeping bad. Like, you would see the fear come into Wilder before he goes to sleep. And that whole... I believe AJ will ruin Wilder's career if they fight. Because he'll never be able to fight the same again. If Wilder loses to Tyson Fury, whether it be knockout or points, I believe Wilder can recover and keep that mindset. Well, I'm the baddest guy in the world, on the planet. The only reason why Fury beat me was because he was running from me the whole time. And I wasn't ready for that. And then they probably have a rematch clause. So he'll get his second opportunity. But like I said, I see this going like this. Tyson's going to get in, get off his pop shots, get out. Wilder's not going to be able to connect. Wilder is going to get frustrated around fourth to sixth round. He's going to start opening up. Fury's going to counter him, and he's going to end up knocking him out. I really believe that this is not going to points. And this is all contingent on if Fury is 40% the way he used to be, which he hasn't shown me much in his last two fights. And, you know, the competition was low. But even against that low competition, he didn't really show me much. So if Fury is at least 40% of what he used to be, I believe that Fury was that much of a better fighter, technically, that there's nothing Wilder's going to be able to do to be prepared for that. There, there's, there's nothing he can do. Like, there, there's no, there's, he has no chance. He just doesn't have the tools in the toolbox to beat him. You always had that lucky punch, but I don't even see a lucky punch landing on Fury unless Fury gets later in the rounds, he gasses, he gets tired, his cardio is not like it should be, you know, because that's one thing I will say about Deontay. Deontay has an amazing cardio shape. He will fight the same from the first round to the 12th round. He will not get tired, which is great. So if Fury does get tired, if Fury is out of condition, if Fury does get pushed to a faster pace that he's not used to and cannot dictate the pace because he is getting caught by really quick punches that he, he just didn't think he'd get caught by, 
then you could see a possibility of Wilder winning. I'm not ruling Wilder out. I believe Wilder does have a chance if we're seeing a shot Tyson Fury. But if we are seeing a good Tyson Fury, uh, I'm almost back to where I used to be Tyson Fury, then I just I give Wilder zero chances. I give him 100 out of 100. Wilder loses 100. Against a shot Fury, I see it being competitive. And I see that Wilder might be able to catch him later in the rounds. But the bottom line is, I believe that Wilder is going to get pop shot for the first four rounds. I believe that he's going to get frustrated by getting a pop shot. And between the fourth to sixth round, then he's going to start opening up, trying to catch Fury with wild shots. And I believe somewhere in between the seventh to the tenth, Wilder is going to go to sleep if it lasts that long. Because once he starts opening up, he's going to find out what it's like to be hit by a real heavyweight. <laughs> you know, he's going to find out that he's going to have to put on some weight at his height if he's going to actually be able to hang with superior fighters at heavyweight. And if he was to fight Anthony Joshua, he would learn real quick that he's just too small. So once again, you know, I... To recap, because I keep going in circles, I don't want to stretch this on forever, but I haven't made a video in forever, so I'm trying to talk. And I'm going to bring up my boy Dillian White, because like I've said before, and now, and I'm on the record saying this in the past before anybody else was saying it. You're hearing other sports analysts and stuff like that say what I said months ago, probably over a year ago, that Dillian White, in my opinion, is the most improved fighter of all heavyweights. He has shown the most growth out of all heavyweights, and I believe. You give Dillian White a little more time, he's going to be that guy. He'll beat, he'll beat AJ in a rematch. If you give him about another six months to a year to really get that cardio underway, he'll beat AJ. He'll be the king of the UK, but let me not get on that. I want to make another video about the Chisora and, and Dillian White because I honestly believe Ch Chisora won that first time they fought. So I'm going to talk about that, even though I just gave praise to White. I'm going to bring that up a little bit later. But to get back on subject, to recap for like the third or fourth or fifth time, because it's been so long since I've done this, I see Wilder getting knocked out in between the seventh to the tenth round if Tyson Fury is 40% of what he used to be. If he's not and he's shot, he will either get knocked out or he'll lose on points because he'll shell up and run the whole time which I don't see happening. So, before that 7th to 10th round knockout, I see, once again, Tyson Fury going in and out, catching him with pop shots, jabs, here and there, here and there. Then I see 4th to 6th round, Wilder getting frustrated, opening himself up, getting counterpunched. 7th to 10th round, he's going to take in too much damage, and he's going to get put down. And another thing to bring back up again, if Tyson gets hurt. Watch for him to grab Wilder and watch how easy it is for him to get a hold of Wilder. And Wilder is going to be too small to shake him off. I've seen Wilder work out. And I'm not saying weightlifting is that. So people like to compare bodybuilders to fighters. Here's the deal Can a skinny person beat a bodybuilder? No. Can a bodybuilder beat a skinny person? No. Can a bodybuilder who can fight beat a skinny person who can't fight? Yeah. Can a skinny person who can fight beat a bodybuilder who can't fight? Yeah. See, the point is being able to fight. So what the muscles is going to bring, the strength is going to bring to this is can Wilder being a much smaller man get Fury off of him if he does tie up with him? Can he throw him off? Can he maneuver him? Can he handle that weight on top of him? Because it's not just the weight. Because he's used to, Wilder's used to guys shorter than him. So the weight's not going to be coming from under him. It's going to be leaning on top of him. And that's the thing. Can Wilder move a boulder off of him? I don't think he can because I've seen him work out and he doesn't lift a lot of weight. He doesn't squat a lot of weight. And you need to be strong to get a bigger man off of you. That's the point I'm trying to make with the weightlifting part. 
You've got to be stronger than the, the heavier guy to get him off of you, especially if you're about to knock him out. If he gets him to where he can knock him out and Fury just leans on him and holds him and Wilder's not strong enough to get the break, then by that time, Fury can recover and he's lost his opportunity for that knockout that might only come once in this entire fight because Fury's just that slick. So, again, Tyson Fury wins this by knockout. Deontay Wilder loses. And hopefully, Wilder will go back to the drawing board. They will put some weight on him because, like I said, once again, 6'7", at 215 to 220, it's too small. It's too small. It's just, he's too small. He's a little guy. He's too thin. And I really feel like this is going to expose it. And, and, and that's how I see this fight going. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Sorry that it's been so long. This was supposed to be 4K, but I'm having issues. I downloaded DaVinci Resolve. It's not working. My iPhone's only let me do 15-minute clips of 4K. So... I couldn't really do that, so I put it in 1080p on my webcam that I've had. I bought this new computer, so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm waiting for my 4K camera to come in, and I'm going to start trying to make these nicer and edit them. I'm going to probably buy Adobe. Maybe I'll get Vega for video editing. I don't know, but I want to start pieces together and make it nicer instead of just one fluid me talking and rambling sometimes. Unless, you know, the people who watch this like the rambling. Then we can keep that, but I would still like to add tidbits and clips and just make it nice so anyways thank y'all for for watching let me know what you think once again i see fury winning by knockout by the 10th round at the latest and as much as i love fury i'd like to see the american win i would like i don't like deontay wilder at all but in this case i want the u.s to win so i guess i could say my heart wants wilder to win but my brain knows that Fury's going to knock him out, and that's how it's going to go.